Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Hamper Colonel 957, and welcome to another edition of F1 2020 Career Mode. So, I haven't done one of these YouTube videos for a while since I had to do my first test of the semester for accounting. So, yeah, but I also have economics too. So, yeah, it's gonna be a busy week trying to upload these videos on YouTube. So, yeah. As the title says, here's the final stretch of my F1 2020 season for season one. So it's based off the current 2020, you know, highlights and all that. Only except it's only in the game, you know. So really, I'm trying to develop my actual team and hire the best drivers, you know. I had uh, Ragunathan, my teammate, yeah, he's been okay in the equipment that I've built, so, but at the same time, I had to let him go, you know, like, I know he likes, says, run in the back of the pack, but he wasn't the right driver for us, so, you know. So we had to get Aaron Barnes, you know, to fill his seat. So I didn't know how I was going to spend the money on a new driver, you know. So let's see. We're going to the Japanese Grand Prix. So, this is going to be my qualifying lap, so let's see if I can do this. And as far as qualifying is concerned, it's like most of the time I get disqualified because I'm trying to push too hard to like get a pole or a top 10 starting spot. I mean, I gotta really give it my best effort or else, you know, I'm gonna keep starting in the back all the time, you know. I mean, <laughs> what makes it more entertaining is just start from the back and then work away through the front, you know. This is okay, but you know what I, you know what I mean. You know, let's just look at this lap around Suzuka. Now, as you can see, it's just... Yeah, I haven't been disqualified so far. <laughs> like, it's, if you have saw real Radmans or wind valves qualifying laps, in which I don't think they did, they just qualify up there and give it all they got, you know? Let's see. Didn't get disqualified there. Ooh, man, that's a great sector. <laughs> Let's see what my lap time will be. And I'm gonna be 20. Yep, 20. So, um. I'll be. Moving on to the next event, so stay right here, folks. Vettel, Hamilton, and Valtteri Bottas. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Are you happy with your performance today? Is there anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Appreciate your time.
So I'm back, so we skipped a few races, especially the US and I believe Mexican Grand Prix where I did score some points in Mexico. So I think I finished ninth I believe. So you won't be seeing that because as you know by the algorithm of Xbox One game captures, they can get corrupt sometimes and I, I'm cool with it and I'm just gonna select some footage that I believe Xbox Live can actually get to the best of my ability so so here we go Brazil what a great race track to race on and I'm 21st out of 22nd I hope it's one of those racetracks where I don't get disqualified again. <laughs> Too much of that oversteer, I should say. Which will make the car looser and looser. And then I don't get the forward bite off, you know, in the exits. Hmm. Just some. Ooh, man, that was a big hit. One of the Alfa Romeos got into the back of me, and. Uh, well, maybe I lost the car, but. Lost karma on that part. So. I'll move on to the next race and just hope the race at Abu Dhabi is a lot better. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver can tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers' Champion. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to Ali. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. today let's have your take on it how do you feel these grid penalties are affecting the sport you lost to your teammate today was it just not your day appreciate your time
And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Bottas, Hamilton and Charles Leclerc. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid lineup for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. So, when I looked at the video editing software for iMovie, I realized I had the qualifying results for Abu Dhabi, but because of the way the race will play out, <laughs> I decided I am not gonna do some commenting on that part, but oh well. I think I might have been dead last, but yeah, this one will be fine. Yeah, I kind of forgot to see where I stack up, but. By the looks of it, I'm going to be finishing 16th in my rookie season at Abu Dhabi, which is not that bad. I kind of believe the car is stable, you know, like... When I have powerful equipment, I'm going to risk it all, you know. Just do the best I can, that's all. And plus, I did actually re pre-record all these F1 videos this season, like from August 8th, I believe, so. Hmm. Yeah, somewhere in August, but right before school started, but. Oh well, 16th ain't a bad place to finish, you know, just move on and. And Lewis Hamilton wins the race. And yeah, and they're gonna show one of the racing point drivers to see where they finish in the top ten. Lance Stroll gets ten. <sighs> I wish I had the energy to tell you guys how much I like F1 2020, but I guess one of those. Uh, I don't want to say autism or all, but I'd rather be open about it since I had it diagnosed at an early age, you know, and I don't want to be ashamed of, but, but at least I know what I'm actually doing, you know, doing this from time to time and sharing my thoughts about how much I like these racing games, you know. And I'm trying to make a point, you know? Oh well. Let's see what... Yeah, don't worry about my face guys, I'm just trying to see. Oh, I uh, qualified ninth. Not bad. Jack Aiken, yeah. When it was 11 races ago in the season, I replaced Ragunathan with Jack Aiken. He was a bad teammate, I'm telling you. And then when he left my team, he went to Williams the following season, and I've been kicking his butt ever since. I'm telling you. Where are my understandings? Oh, we're in knife and constructors and and I'm way somewhere in the fifth mid teens in the standings. Like fifteenth or sixteenth. The only points we scored this season were Austria in which you weren't able to see my race footage and then Mexico. Same thing. But I got a nice place finished, so. I kind of remember those two races as my pivotal points. But, yeah. Always ran rail in both of those racetracks. Even without rainy conditions, I can still run well, you know? So there you have it. Um. 
I'm amazed that I've ran so well just by only getting uh, only 10 points, I believe. <laughs> but I might be wrong. Just, uh, that concludes it. I'm AK Haprico957. Y'all have a good day and peace out. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Appreciate your time. <laughs>